In this lesson, you will learn how to eliminate an object from this picture. Go to File, Open, and choose Boy's Picture. Before starting working, I highly recommend you to always make a copy of the original picture. You have to drag this back ground layer over this icon and you will get a duplicated layer also you must always save it with different name go to file and save and add the word for example your uh, your ID number underscore manipulated This will signify that this picture has been altered. This is to prevent us from accidentally overwriting the original. Now we will replace this boy with the sky to make him disappear. The tool we need is clone stamp tool. We can change the broad size of the clone stamp tool as well. You have to go to brush and then select the size. Also, you can change the density of this brush. Here, this is now bigger. You can use a short key from your keyboard as well to adjust the brush quickly. Using the square brackets signed on your keyboard which is quite close to the enter key you can quickly change the size by these two keys the clone stamp works by repressing pixel from reference point to area you want to alter to select the reference point hold the alternate key and right click one time And then you have to move the cursor over the area you want to change and click on it. See, it will be replaced by the pixel from the reference point. You need to check whether it looks natural or not. If you make any mistake, you can use the History panel to fix it. Go to Window, History. You can undo by delete this uh, history lock. Scroll down to the bottom of all locks. You can select from one to multiple lock and delete them to undo all that you don't want. Let's assume that we have made mistake here. You can simply dis delete these locks. Use clone stamp two again. Oops, uh, this still isn't the right reference point. We may select other area as reference point as the one we are using will replace the pixel from the boy in red. Click on a new area and hold the alternate key. Well, when we retouch picture, we may use more than one reference point in order to get smooth results. We might need to click several times. Sometimes we may need to change the size of the brush as well. A smaller brush may give a rough texture, so you have to change the brush size. Choosing the right brush size will result in smooth blending. This requires training and a careful mind to reach the perfection. Your first time may not be as perfect, however, you will improve over time. When we are 
when we have reached a small area, it's time to use a smaller brush. Then you may notice that it's kind of rough here, not branded well. So we need to a little. We need a little magic from Spot Healing Brush Two. The principle is quite the same to Chrome Stem, starting with selecting the reference point, holding an alternate, and click. Apply it by dragging the cursor over the area, like when you are painting. It will become smoother. You can also undo the process with history if you make a mistake. Sometimes using big brush will blend pixel better than smaller one. Now we are done with this assignment. Don't forget to save this file. Well, since we have multiple layer in this job, our computer will focus. Uh, sorry, will force us to save it as Photoshop or PSD format by default. So we will save one as PSD and save it again as JPEG. Select save as and choose JPEG format. Name it with your ID and underscore boy underscore manipulated. To show that this picture has been altered, click on save. As we have plenty of space, so we can set its quality as 12 maximum. Click OK. We are done with this clone stamp deal.